Welcome guys to yet another video on our weight loss motivation channel. Today's topic is autophagy. What triggers autophagy? What are the effects of autophagy on the body? And what cell components of the body does autophagy target first? Autophagy is a process of self-cannibalization. Cells capture their own cytoplasm and organelles and consume them in lysosomes. The resulting breakdown products are inputs to cellular metabolism through which they are used to generate energy and to build new proteins and membranes. Autophagy preserves the health of cells and tissues by replacing outdated and damaged cellular components with fresh ones. In starvation, it provides an internal source of nutrients for energy generation and thus survival. A powerful promoter of metabolic homeostasis at both the cellular and whole animal level, autophagy prevents degenerative diseases. Autophagy is a highly regulated cellular process in which the body cells break down and recycle their own components. This complex process is triggered by a variety of environmental factors, including nutrient deprivation, oxidative stress, and damage to cellular structures. The process of autophagy is tightly regulated by a set of genes known as autophagy-related genes, or ATGs, that work together to initiate and control the process. Autophagy can be stimulated by various conditions, including prolonged fasting or calorie restriction. During prolonged fasting, the body enters a state of autophagy after approximately 72 hours of food deprivation. This state is characterized by the activation of a signaling pathway known as the AMP-activated protein kinase, AMPK pathway, which triggers the activation of ATG genes and the subsequent initiation of the autophagy process. During autophagy, the body cells begin to scavenge and recycle various components, including damaged organelles, misfolded proteins, and other cellular debris. The process of autophagy is divided into several stages, including initiation, nucleation, elongation, and maturation. During the initiation stage, the ATG genes are activated and the autophagy machinery is recruited to the site of the damaged or dysfunctional component. The nucleation stage involves the formation of a membrane structure called the phagophore, which engulfs the component to be degraded. The elongation stage involves the expansions of the phagophore membrane and the formation of the autophagosome. Finally, during the maturation stage, the autophagosome fuses with lysosomes, leading to the degradation and recycling of the component. One of the key questions surrounding autophagy is what components of the body cells are targeted first during this process. Some researchers have suggested that fat deposits may be the first to be broken down and recycled during autophagy, as the body may turn to its fat stores as a source of energy during prolonged fasting or calorie restriction. This process, known as lipophagy, involves the selective degradation of lipid droplets by autophagy. Other potential targets for autophagy include crystal deposits which can accumulate in various tissues and contribute to the development of diseases such as gout and kidney stones. Autophagy may also target toxins and other harmful compounds that could accumulate in the body over time, helping to reduce the risk of chronic disease. In fact, several studies have shown that autophagy can protect against various diseases, including neurodegenerative diseases, cancer, and metabolic disorders. In addition to scavenging and recycling these components, autophagy may also play a role in the removal of cysts and lumps from the body. Some research suggests that autophagy may be involved in the destruction of cancer cells and other abnormal growths, helping to prevent the spread of cancer and other diseases. Autophagy can also play a role in the removal of damaged or dysfunctional mitochondria, a process known as mitophagy which is critical for maintaining cellular energy production and preventing the accumulation of reactive oxygen species. Despite the potential benefits of autophagy, there are also some risks associated with this process. Dysregulation of autophagy has been implicated in the development of various diseases, including cancer and neurodegenerative diseases. The downside of autophagy is cancer cells exploit it to survive in nutrient-poor tumors. Therefore, a better understanding of the regulation and function of autophagy is critical for developing new therapies and interventions that can improve health and reduce the risk of disease. In conclusion, autophagy is a complex and highly regulated cellular process that plays a critical role in the maintenance of cellular health and function. By understanding the different components of the body that are targeted during autophagy, 
researchers may be able to develop new therapies and interventions that can help to improve health and reduce the risk of disease. Further research is needed to fully understand the regulation and function of autophagy and to develop effective interventions that can harness the power of this process to improve health and prevent disease.